hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Maya thank you very much for clicking on today's video today is going to be another black girl transformation video and if you'd like to see this please stick around and do not forget to comment like and subscribe and let's get straight into the video so I'm going to start off by wiping her face and then after wiping her face I'm going to be using my makeup revolution priming water to set her face for the whole look and then after setting her face I'm also going to go in with my all blaring um, primer from makeup obsession and I'm just going to smear this all over her face so that we can our makeup can last longer and you know we can have a very good face And then to prime her lid eye, her lid space for um, the eyeshadow, I'm going to be using the P. Louise base in the shade 01, and I'm just going to smudge this all over her lid and blend it out, and then we can start our eyeshadow prep. And for the eyeshadow palette, I'm going to be using the Eye Magic Petty Color Eyeshadow Palette. I've actually filmed a review on this, and I'm yet to upload it. If I do upload it, it's going to be in the link in the description box and I went in with the shade cinnamon as my transition shade and I'm just going to blend this all over um, a little all over the, the space a little bit above the crease line and that is where this is going to go and also I'll say that this eyeshadow is from AliExpress and you can see the color payout I'm getting from here and then um, I'm going to also go into my Makeup Obsession Warm Up Palette and I'm going to use um, the shade, I believe, not twist, but I'm going to use the shade that I'm pointing at. I'm just going to deepen my, transi my transition shade a little bit. And guys, I had some technicalities with the filming of the video. It has nothing to do with our makeup or my model, to be honest. It's just my camera. And then I'm going in on the, in the same palette. Um, this is Twist. And I'm just going into her crease line because I want to do like a semi-cut crease look for her. And then um, I'm going to just dip in her crease line. But guys, you will see that in some of the clips, she looks very golden and a whole lot of mess i'm really really sorry i'm working on you know learning my camera very well and if you're watching this video guys this advice i will not take it but i'm telling you stop filming on auto sets and sarah hmm. anyway but guys so i'm very sorry if you see that some of the clips she looks very um orange and you know i've already mentioned this before but anyway let's before that and now I'm going into the Makeup Revolution Rich and Life Palette with Patricia Bright and then I'm going to use the uh, um, shimmer shade I just showed. I'm just going to smudge it all over the place that I have cut, the hair lid space that we are using as cut crease. And then later on I'm also going to go in back to the Makeup Obsession Warm Up Palette and I'm just going to deepen the outer shade and blend um, the shimmer shade and um, her outer V shade together so that it looks it looks well married, well married. Is that even a word? But well married together, you know, like like they look good together. But anyway, guys, I don't know what to do with my camera, so I'm really really sorry. For foundation, we are going to be using the makeup. Oh no, for foundation, we are going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible. Um, foundation and that is the shade 365 it is actually a perfect match and because of how the footage is going to turn from here on I'm going to insert photos I took well from an iPhone 11 and also later with the camera so that you can see that I'm really being honest how the footage looks like has nothing to do with our actual makeup but anyway I'm blending out the foundation on her face
you see how golden it looks here that is my problem but anyway I went into the makeup revolution Conceal and define and I used the shade um, C13 but I realized that it was too dark for her it was almost like her skin color so I went into the um, Fenty Beauty and um, instant retouch concealer and that is the shade 350 so I used this to highlight under her cheeks the bridge of her nose her forehead and her chin and I'm going to blend it out seamlessly guys again please forgive me on how different my footage look maybe some of you may not notice but to those who will notice and to my conscience that notices I'm saying this so that I can be free but anyway and then for contour I'm going to be using the same makeup revolution concealer and define but this time in the shade C18 I'm just going to use this to contour so that you know we could have a, a very nice cheekbone and then I'm blending it out with the contour brush I got these brushes from Amazon it's called the Stoke I'm, I'll write the name on this one it's called this book and it, it was like nine pounds or something like that I got it from Amazon UK and it's like it's very 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 good it's very dense and then to highlight her face no I'm not highlighting I'm actually setting the um, the, the concealer I'm using the makeup obsession transparent powder and I'm just going to use this to set the places that I want to highlight on her face and then later I'm going to go in I didn't show this but later I went in with Fenty Beauty um, also powder which is why we look very yellow but it all works out and then to contour I also use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder Foundation in the shade 350 and you can see that I'm also using the Patricia Bright and you are gold face palette to contour her nose because we don't want a harsh contour which is why I didn't use the Fenty Beauty Pro filter we just want something light and now I'm just going to wipe everything off her face and blend it out very well and to bronze her face we are going to be using the Revolution Glow Matte Bronzer in the shade dark honestly this bronzer is false i used to have the at first the first time I, I purchased this i purchased this in the shade medium dark but it wasn't doing what i wanted it to do but so i decided to get that and honestly i'm loving it i'm loving it i think i've used it for three looks already and this is the first one the second one will probably be uploaded in two weeks and the second one and um, I'm uploading this video on a Tuesday so on Thursday you see it and then I'm going to be using the NYX with cheek blush again because of my camera you can see the color of this blush well but it is very very pink my camera just missed me up because look at this beauty and I'm just going into her inner tear dots and then I'm just going to you know, fill it up with the shimmer shade I used on the lips face and then for her lips I'm using the NYX um, lip pencil in the shade Club Hopper and then for her lips the middle of her lips I'm going to be using makeup obsession um, wait let it let it come down. The makeup obsession captivated lip lip gloss. I'm just going to use this on her lips on in the middle of her lips and then I'll blend it out and then also go in with the Endea Dots and Sarah. And I'm going to use a clear lip gloss to blend the two out and to set her face. I'm using the makeup obsession duo fix to set her face and we are done with the look if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'm I'm sorry about how my foot my footage turned out 
somewhere in between the clip. I promise to do better. I'll see you in my next video and have a good week. Bye.